so it looks like they got started before I even got here which kind of sucks but it's all right because I mean my back is killing me at the same time so hopefully I don't get copyrighted because they're playing music but I'm gonna show you guys this beauty right here so right now what we're doing is we're gonna be replacing the cats because the cats are clogged up right now so these are new cats um, for some reason oh actually did came hey I got gaskets let's go Let's go! I got gaskets. All right, so changing the, both cats. Um, ooh, these wheels are getting beefy. Mm, I like that. Um, again, I can't do too much physical work because of, yeah. So these guys are helping me out and I really appreciate you guys so much because honestly, if I were to do this on my back, I probably won't be able to walk again. So yeah, I really appreciate it guys. You guys are, you guys are the best. All right, let's get to this. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a forbidden setup that technically you shouldn't be doing, but if you do it, you do it. I'm not telling you to do it, but if you do it, like I said, you do it. Alright, so what we're doing, we're jacking up the engine. But before you jack up the engine, uh, there's the sorry, there's the engine mount that's right over there. You got to pretty much take the nut off of there. And then you're just going to take the studs, not really the studs, but the nuts off. And then you're going to go from the... Uh, rear catalytic converter to take that out and then to the front one but like I said it's a forbidden technique that you shouldn't be using but if you use it you use it that's not my problem but if you use it you use it okay, so here are the oxygen sensors uh, these look like bank one and two uh, the top the top mounts of bank one and two they are clearly disgusting just, just look at that just trash absolutely trash gotta go um, but before you get to any of this you do have to disconnect the uh underneath the car i'll show you that at some other point the exhaust that bolts up into the catalytic converter or some people call it the downpipe but where the end of the catalytic converter is going to the out of the exhaust um you have to disconnect that and then uh what marston is doing is pretty much um loosening up the bolts or taking off the nuts off of the uh studs that's holding the um the manifold together so yeah So right now we have to take off all these covers here and all these covers here in order to so what we're whatever man so we're gonna take these off here of course so we can get clearance at least these are something I can do without breaking my back at this point uh, these I believe are t27s we're gonna use that to take these off and then here and just kind of use a clip or you just use your nails if you have any and just kind of pop these off just like that, put that to the side, and then these uh, wires come out. Hopefully, I'm not in your way, Marcy. All right, and then I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna skip to this part where I'm taking that off, and then we're gonna take these parts off too. So the studs are coming out. So, but the we need to keep the studs because I don't have new studs, and we need to keep. We're gonna replace the nuts, but this is what they're doing. I mean, if you gotta make it work, you gotta make it work. <laughs> At home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is one of the results of the forbidden. So we decided to go with the first cat instead. You kind of have to use a pry bar and kind of just kind of push this to the side just a tad bit just to wiggle it out. Um, you are going to get caught up right in this area right here um, with the catalytic converter right here. Um, and then you should just be able to pull it right out again Do this with your own caution Because um, you can damage the AC line which runs from here all the way back um, And also you can break uh, This pretty much this cover right here, which you don't want to do so Yeah First cat is technically out then you have more easier access to take off the uh, Oxygen sensor or the rear oxygen sensor right there and you just pretty much pull everything right out so yeah, so this is the first. After that, we're gonna go take out the uh, rear cat. Ah, that sound is the worst. I love it. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so 
You don't have to jack the car up that much. So I didn't tell him that I bought new O2 sensors, so I'm joking, I did. <laughs> I did. That's funny. Alright, so what we're doing right now is pretty much using a boroscope to see inside the cats. And there it is. Now this is for this cat here, which was the secondary one. Yeah, dirty boys. Alrighty, so these are the new cats. I got these from Arizona. I don't even know what the name of the company is, if I'm being 100% honest. But um, yeah, these are the new cats here. Completely different design, but I was told and recommended to get these. Um, they're a quick option and they are as, or not as pricey as, of course, OEM, but apparently they're supposed to work as good or better. So, yeah. All right, so we got that one in. Just gonna try and slide this one in. Come on. Oh wait, yeah. here we go. Alright, and then hold on. And then and she's in. Alright, nice. There we go. Done. Alright, sweet. Um, so we're gonna use uh, the kit for some reason only came with one gasket. So we are going to have to reuse one of these gaskets here. These gaskets come with a shield. It is much better to get, you know, brand new ones, but most likely just gonna use them anyways at this point, so yeah, the forbidden way, people. The forbidden way. So we back in the business, like like he said. <laughs> um, so pretty much, this is what the what the bottom of it looks like as it is installed. Um, of course, like we showed, we didn't go from the bottom as usually people do because usually we'd have to drop the subframe, um, but instead we use the forbidden way, and uh, forbidden way. <laughs> the forbidden way, and did it that way. Uh, we only have one issue, of course, uh, going after market. Uh, one of the alignment holes on the front or the bank one uh, catalytic converter was too small. I don't know if you can see, that's where it sits up there. Hopefully, I don't have a gas leak, uh, gasket leak, or what do you call it? Yeah, gas leak. Um, exhaust leak. Yes, exhaust leak. There, there it is. There it is. Um, but pretty much, we had to drill um, the hole and just to make it bigger, one of the alignment holes. Uh, cause it just wasn't fitting right but just looking at it right now it's all pretty much good and it looks flush and we should be fine so right now we're just gonna uh, attach it to here and then put in the prongs for the O2 sensors and then that is it we're gonna start it up and it should be much louder because before uh, with the cats being clogged up you it, it was much quieter it was kind of like a uh, Prius at that point so should be much louder should have some sound of some good sound at this and yeah these guys are awesome they won't admit it but they are no nitro huh yeah, yeah before it sounded like a prius you got it started yeah completely sound oh we're smoking as meant yeah, it's mainly because we had uh, sprayed it because we had to drill that hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we should be fine. Smoke oil every day. Doesn't seem like we're gonna have the exhaust leak, but we're gonna have to wait and see over time. Um, but yeah, we might have to clear the codes and see what happens. Just kind of hose it down and yeah. All right, guys. So that concludes our video today. Stay awesome. Be great. Um, wasn't really a DIY. It's sponsored by Doritos. It's not sponsored by Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's time to go home. I'm out. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> you got by Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, my God. Just stop, right? <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it this way.
earn midway. You got stuck like this, ready to get top of your butt cheeks. Yeah. Fuck it. And then when you slid down, it slid down. Only you guys, I swear. Well, at least we got somebody to cheer on here. Right. 